losing my balance, I fell down the stairs, and that's when I said to my mum, there's something not right, you know. I lost my speech, my left-hand side from head to toe, um, and then one morning I was due to go for a scan, and that's the morning that I actually went off to A&E. I was um, a mother, I worked full-time, um, day-to-day living um, was normal, then I, they discovered I had my brain tumour and everything had to stop and change. Everybody has basically had to adapt to my recovery. I was told I had 12 to 14 months to live. My husband actually thought that was how long the treatment would be and I had to hold his hands and say, no, that's how long they're giving me to live. And when he died... I missed the Paul that I was married to as a husband. And I missed the Paul that I was looking after as, like, baby, you know. So in some cases it was hard because it did change so much with it being a brain tumour, you know. Any other cancer, the prob- the person would probably be in the same person, wouldn't they? Whereas when it's a brain tumour, they are different. I've realised that, you know, other kids my age have been able to do stuff I couldn't. I'm trying to overcome that and it's really a challenge because I just find it overall harder to do simple tasks. I couldn't dress myself. I couldn't work out which way around a top went. I put my shoes on the wrong feet. Um, I tried to make a cup of tea. I knew I needed the kettle, but I didn't have a clue what else to do. Uh, You know, I had to be taught everything again. Um, but it was traumatic, not just for me, but for my family as well, to see us going through it. You know, for me, it, you get on with it, you live or die. But for everybody else, they're watching you. They're wanting to know what you're feeling. How are you feeling? How are you coping? What's going around in their heads is far worse than what's going around in mine. You you do need somebody else, even from a carer's point of view. You You need to know that this is right. Can I tell you what I feel like? The fright you've got thinking on a night time trying to get to sleep and you think, what if she dies? What am I going to do? It's my little girl, you know. At Castle Hill I could go there and you could say this to people, you know. We mom, really needed some support, yeah, didn't we? went and... down quite a yeah, bad... Yeah, she wasn't good at, at the start of it. She um, Her confidence, everything just totally it just knocked her. Like she was in a wheelchair, she couldn't even walk where they've got my mum walking again and... So they have been fantastic. My confidence has been close to nil a lot of my life and that's impacted on me with everything. Matt Millen were there for me straight away to make sure that I had all the equipment necessary for my recovery. So as soon as she was able to, we got her home with the help of Matt Millen, which was great. Um, but initially it was just getting her in and out of the bath and stuff and they provided us with a hoist for the bath, which was absolutely brilliant because, you know, it's your mum and at the end of the day she's still got to keep her dignity. So by doing that, that was great, wasn't yeah. it? And then there was just little little bits mean such a lot. With what the nurses have been helping me with, now I'm much more capable and more independent than I was before. So that's really helped. I think Matt Millen really supported me mentally because they helped me understand it it was okay um, to be the person that I am now, even through basically the biggest change in my life. People don't understand that, you know, it is a brain injury and you have got brain damage. It was somebody said the words brain damage and I thought, geez, that's me, you know. Uh, People don't see that side of it because you've got your makeup on, you've got your smile on and you're fine. I've done the wheelchair, I've done the stick, I've done the wig. um, I've got a trike because I couldn't balance on two wheels and wouldn't let me drive. But the brain tumour support group is where you can go, talk to other people who have the same. And like for me, being now six and a half years down the line, um, people look at me and go, oh, wow, you know, um, it, you know, they can progress to that. People are listening to patient voices like myself. So hopefully in future.
it be a, a lighter journey because it is a dark, dark hole what you're in. Can't thank them enough for what they've done for my mum. And finally, I'd like to think that we are getting her back how she was. Mm-hmm. <laughs>